Hello and welcome back to this Let's Build series. Uh, in between this episode and the last one, as usual, I basically replaced the floor of the garage and did the driveway. So, let me go ahead and put in the garage door and kind of complete the sidewalk there out front. Turn this around. I think I'll bring it down the length of the driveway too. So there's that. Alright, very nice. Now, what has to be done on the inside? Okay, we really need uh, an iron door for that. Put in like a door to the patio here. And we'll just fill this in. Put in the door, and we'll just use the same stone blocks that I use for the driveway and stuff. So let me also put in another one of these kind of pillars. There we go, alright. And what else? I think we need to finish the bathroom. I think that's something that needs to be done. And other than that, I really can't think of anything. Oh, well, this window. Yeah, that one's there, okay. Alright, so what I'm going to need here is a torch, some item frames, and some carpet. Can I grab any of these? It's really annoying. Along with the hopper and a wooden pressure plate. So we'll put that in, put that in. Oops. There we go. Torch and the glass for like a mirror. And glass pane here. I think I'm going to go and replace this with gray stained glass. Just to give it a bit of an edge in the privacy department. And now let's put on the hardware for the uh, tub shower sort of thing. Alright, so that's that. And that's really all there is to this house, now that I think of it. I mean, without artificially inflating the length of the video somehow. Which I'm really not sure how I do. Because there really isn't a whole lot that can be dragged out here. All I have to do now is the landscaping in the front and back. So I think I'll just actually go ahead and do that in this same video. I mean, normally I kind of split them up, but I figure this... I've only been going for about three minutes now, so... That leaves about 12 minutes of dead time if I were to just cut it off now. And, you know, it wouldn't be much of an episode if it was just three minutes long, if you ask me. So let's go ahead and put in these fence gates, and I'll try and think, what should I, I guess let's use stone pressure plates. That always works. Or maybe, actually, I will use uh, stone slab, or oak wood half slabs. And if you'll excuse me for one minute, I just need to stop the recording real quick and take care of something. Dot dot dot. Okay, I'm back. I just have to put that laundry in the dryer. I didn't start it yet though, so honestly chances are I'm gonna totally forget to do that by the end of the tr this recording. And be like, well, what was it I wanted to do? I know there was something. Mm. I always do that. Always, always, always. But do I learn? No. <laughs> Not at all. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and do some landscaping, basically. Because like I said, uh, the video originally was only about three minutes long. Uh, so, might as well kind of consolidate those into the same episode, or you know, consolidate the landscaping and the, uh, the interior finishing stuff, which really wasn't a whole lot of to do to begin with in one episode. So hence, I'm doing all of this here now. Put in another cypress shrub thing. I think these are called cypress trees. I know there's one of these that's basically more pine than cypress, but I have no idea what that's called, so I'll just go with cypress. So I'll go ahead and bring this uh, soul sand all the way up here, like so. Now, what should I put in this planter box? 
Yes, a peony. Some peonies. Lilac. Maybe two of these. One of these. Some of these. Some oleums. Tulips. That's actually all I need. That's handy. Now let me put a potted plant on this kind of ledge here. Because a lot of times these were basically kind of hollowed out and used as uh, planters, which is kind of cool. So I'm going to try to stay true to that and put a flower up there. And what else? I don't think I'm going to do the lawn like this one. Uh, okay, what should I do back here? I guess some shrubs and some soul sand all right okay now let's put in more stone to kind of connect these two and maybe some more soul sand and some more spruce shrubs too I can make like a little Base here in the middle. Actually, I should just leave that as grass. Okay. Uh, this didn't go quite as well as I thought it would. Let me just go ahead and uh, fill this stuff back in. Or replace that with grass. And go based on what I had in mind here, which is basically this. That's better. So let me go ahead and uh, put in the soul sand accordingly. Just kind of frame this with it. There we go. Okay, and we'll put some around the patio too. And now, I'll go ahead and put in some trees, and actually I think I should put in some potted plants on the patio too, so let me make these little towers here, I guess, and then I'll go ahead and grab, I guess, some, no, we'll go with oak leaves, and a flower pot, and a cactus, and then maybe a fern too, I'll have this on this side, and the fern on the other side. So that's nice, I suppose. So now let's grab the usual tree growing supplies, which is a sapling, some bone meal, and some stone. And I'll use this uh, method I've kind of figured out to force the big trees to grow. So I'll put the sapling down and bone meal that pretty thoroughly. Probably take about two or three minutes a piece. That's fine though, I still got seven minutes on my timer here, so that's good. Alright, well that's not at all what I had in mind, but it's better than one of those really awkward, stubby looking trees. I mean, not like these ones, but the other ones that tend to grow when you try to use this method. Those ones just look stupid, honestly. I'm not so big a fan of those. I know World Edit uh, has a thing that basically lets you uh, grow the big trees with the use of a certain tool or whatever, and I've really been thinking about downloading World Edit lately, so I don't know, maybe that's extra incentive to do that. But, you know, th this is one of the stubby trees I was talking about, so let me grab a flint and steel, which takes the form of a lighter in this texture pack. And we'll replace this with the grass, and we'll just light this on fire. Hopefully that doesn't spread to the house or anything, but it shouldn't because the exterior is all uh, non-flammable material. So, let's try with this one here. It's burning pretty nicely. Throw down the sapling. Get the bone meal going. Come on. Make sure that's not damaging anything. Okay, it's fine. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Third time is the charm, I guess. So let's get rid of these and then we'll go ahead and try this again. Yeah, 
And we'll break one of these. Start rolling wheeling. And hope for the best. Third time's the charm, but I don't think they say anything about the fourth time. Maybe it's like the fourth time is like, if it didn't work the second, third, and first times, maybe it's just not for you. <laughs> okay, so I, I guess that's acceptable. Well, this one sure isn't. I'm going to just go ahead and get rid of this, too. Oh, kind of, uh, start breaking it manually while the fire does a bit of work, hopefully. And I think that's another thing you can do in World Edit. It's basically uh, destroy trees with, you know, a pretty decent radius on them using a certain tool. I don't know, I'll have to look into that. One of these days. Believe me, my one of these days list is, it's endless. There have been things that I've been intending to do since like 2011 that I still have yet to do. Like, I was thinking about setting up a Facebook account since probably uh, summer of 2011, and I still have yet to do that. And honestly, aside from keeping in touch with a few friends, I really don't have any reason to. So, I don't know. Uh, how's this going? I think that looks fine, actually. Let's, we can work with that. Let me put a tree in the front yard, too. Stolen for that. Okay. And bone meal. Come on now. Let's not be unreasonable here. <sighs> yeah, it really is annoying how they nerfed the bone meal. Uh, couple updates ago. Well, that's good. I mean, it's, it's, you know, I don't know. I, I think they should make it so that, you know, when you're in creative mode, you can still just one-click trees and, um, like, wheat and stuff like that and get the, uh, fully grown product rather than having to sit there, you know, doing this forever. You should just be able to one-click, click it once, and I don't know. I'm just checking here to make sure that everything is complete, and by the looks of it, everything is fine and dandy. We got the patio. Alright, that's looking good. Got the little patio here. Okay, the garage is done. A bit undetailed, but, well, let's go ahead and put in some uh, pressure plate or trapdoor shells. Let's do a long hole wall here. There we go. So that's a bit of detail and interest. And, uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, that's really about all there is to this. I mean, this is a fairly small, simple house, and I think the length of the video reflects that, or I guess lack thereof in terms of the series, not just the video. But yeah, so this neighborhood is basically complete now, which is cool. This is kind of in the uh, final piece to the puzzle, basically. And that's really about it. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, probably do this townhome complex here next, so... There goes the phantom chicken. I've been hearing this chicken around this neighborhood here. I was thinking it was in the apartment building, because it's it seems loudest around here, but... I actually opened up the roof to that and took a look inside and found nothing. So, wait. No. Nope. And I saw it. I don't know. I've come to think of it as being a phantom chicken. And, uh, it is little more than a nuisance, but I don't know. So anyway, yeah, I mean, that's basically the end of this series. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like or a comment or subscribe or whatnot. As usual, uh, if you didn't enjoy the video, then please feel free to leave some constructive criticism and some tips for what exactly needs improvement. So anyway, yeah, so uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully I will see you in the next episode of whatever series ends up being uploaded next, which will probably be a Subcraft episode of this town complex here. 
So yeah, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you then.